You have reached your destination. Yep. Hmm. Hmm. I rented this and it was easy to set up and it's gonna be easy to pull apart. As you can see, it's already pissed on my floor, so I guess it belongs here now. Maybe it's mine now. Um, I have rigged up a couple of toe straps or ratchet straps, whatever. And yes, you're gonna bitch. Oh my god, they're too small. No, each of these are rated for a thousand pounds. Breaking strength. I'm sorry, not breaking strength, uh, load strength, and 15 for braking or some crap like that. The entire engine itself and transmission is 780 pounds. So I've got uh, 2,000 pounds worth of straps there for less than half. So I'm not worried about it. Neither should you, because I care about my life and my toes. Um, so I'm going to have a little bit of help, I think, lifting up the transmission part. It's not going to be too heavy. And uh, I'll just swing it over and there she blows. My intent actually was to do one of these numbers. Um, up above in my ceiling, I've got a, a piece of uh, uh, two inch square tubing left over from my trailer mod, my trailer project, and uh, strung across three of the, uh, the, uh, the rafters up in my attic. And I decided it just probably was not the best idea. So I've done away with that idea. Yes, I have. And <clears throat> I will instead rig this sucker up in uh, in there. I can see two of the lights, but so I can raise and lower the body of this thing really easily. And again, this body weighs, heck, 110 pounds, if that. I mean, it's really light. So getting up and down on this chassis, fitting it, test fitting it, that kind of stuff will be perfect. It'll be it'll be the perfect thing to do it without using a chain fall. That's how I got it up there. Um, so that sucker is just a straight up and down. Yeah. Pretty gosh darn cool. Oops. And uh, again, um, yeah. So. I've got brand new, uh, what do you call it, motor mounts on this sucker. Um, like so, and what you can't see too well, you see that strap hanging down? That is an overly long grounding strap. So once it's in the engine, yeah, sorry, in the, in the frame, and I've got it uh, tightened down and know where I want to put it, how it's going to work, etc., then I will um, attach it to the frame somewhere. So. I don't, I see a couple of spots, you know, there is one right there, you can see the strap hanging down, there's another one over there, that would ground out the transmission, so I'll, I'll do that as well, but, you know, I don't actually know where it grounds out on the, uh, on the frame, so I guess I'll find a spot at some point, and, you know, there you go. So, more after I'm done. I gotta admit, this was a bitch. This was a fucking bitch. My, uh, my motor mounts were... Snug, like perfectly, perfectly the uh, the correct size with no slop in them. And by slop, I'm talking a millimeter maybe on each end, each side. But it's in. Let's see, let me zoom in just a snitch. Both sides. And so what's next? Probably tomorrow, after I clean my garage floor up from all of the piss this damn thing put all over my uh my floor sucker leaks um is the uh the headers so i'll take those take those off next and replace them with the chrome ones i've got and they'll look awfully gosh darn pretty that's what they're gonna do yes sir and i'll put the put the lid back on the uh, carburetor so i've yet to do the uh, uh the transmission mount i'll do that later at some point i just want to get the engine out from in front of my MG and um, out of the way. Yeah, not bad. It's a load of uh, load off my mind. Yep, yep, yep.